name. Praise the Lord. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Pastor Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sophie from Ghana, Tema, Newtown, precisely. I became a choosing 2016 and I turned up my journey of salvation. Thank you, Father. I am here to thank God who healed me for a hole in her heart. Hey! This hole in her heart was 2007, 2007, and when I became a choosing, God healed me. Clap unto God. I don't know whether you heard her, the ailment, the sickness. Say it again, what God healed you of? Hole in her heart. Hole in the heart. Yes. Terrible sickness. I have the evidence of history still there, but I did not bring it. I'll bring it later. I also want to thank God who restored me a new liver, a new kidney, a new system in my body. I just want to say choose me, praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. My second testimony, which um, last year, or that is last two years in Budi, we came and our daddy made us to pledge. I couldn't make it to last year, that is this year in Budi, but I came this program and then I redeemed my pledge. And when I redeemed my pledge, I received a favor of 310,000 around. Thank you, Father. You said you made the pledge of how much? 100,000. And you received a favor of? 310. Clap unto God on the Tuesday. God multiplies anything beyond the imagination. My third testimony. My third testimony happened 2000, and that was last year, August 16th precisely. So the afflictions, the persecutions, it was too much. It was just beyond me. I just told God, I want to hear, I want to see the end of your tunnel. I know. I know the things he has told me, but because of the afflictions was too much, the persecutions was too much, I say, God, I want to know the end of the tunnel. I want to even know the end of my tunnel. And then I slept. When I slept, God gave me a revelation, and which in the revelation, not knowing in the ministry, they always use um, two people for a sacrifice. Like every year, they use people for sacrifice. And this is how God used me for a for two military, one in the Navy, one in the police. In the morning, God confirmed it. When I saw the Navy sister, um, her sister was miserable walking. She was crying. I called her, asked her, what is the problem? She said, my sister went for a checkup. And when she came back, she has been admitted to the hospital bag. I started smiling. I said, don't worry, God has taken over. My God has intervened and nothing will happen to your sister. She was so crying, I said, don't cry. And so, lo and behold, I told her about what God revealed to me. She went to tell the sister. And when the sister came, I told the sister, the sister was so amazed. And my surprise to me, in my branch, Tema New Town, anyone who knows Ghana, that place, they don't love God. Everything is diabolic. If you are bold enough to go out there to preach, the way they will torment you. The way they will even crucify you, you will not go again. I will go, whatever they do to me, I don't care. But not knowing that this sister has been secretly listening to our Jew. And I want to say to the whole world that people are really listening to our message of our Jew. They are not coming out as choosing portraying and sitting here, but a lot of Navy officers, police, military, a lot of them in Ghana are choosing. And this is how God and this is how God made this sister to thank me. And then from there she became a very close person. And also to the policeman, that is how also God is about God using to protect me and through that God also made me to also intervene for him that is how God of choosing delivered these two but I told them those people that made this sacrifice would rather be the one in place and to that Navy sister shocking surprise a brother who used to drive her to the house not knowing it was him and that brother we never saw him again up to date I wake up, as I wake up and I intervene for them, I slept again. 
Now, this is to the testimony of the end of the tunnel. So when I said, God, I want to know the end of the tunnel, God gave me a revelation. I don't want to go deep in the revelation, but I want to say that in the whole wide world, I was told that the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, is the reigning God as the God of choosing. He is the same Jesus Christ. Anyone who doesn't come under this umbrella will never make it to his abode. So I'm here to tell the whole world because he told me to give this message to the whole world. Initially when he gave me this message, I gave it out to the man of God I know. I gave it out to the media. When you go to Ghana, in fact, even to the internet, my name is everywhere. I am really preaching. I am really praying for my daddy. I am really portraying as what God wants all chosen to be. He told me that chosen people, God is looking at you all. Don't stay in your room. Don't stay in your coffin. Go out there, go to the churches, preach this undiluted message. Because our daddy is the only one standing in the whole wild world. Thank you. I pray for my daddy that the way God has made him spiritually, physically, he is with his whole entire family in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for all the chosen worldwide. I cover my testimony with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Choose it, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hole in the heart, heal. And God showed her that the Lord chosen is the place to be. And that chosen people should not stay at home idling or doing other things, but engage extensively in preaching the word. That's exactly the teachings of our pastor. Emphasized yesterday, every day, that this is the commandment of God to bring people into this fold and launch everyone to heaven at last. Don't sit idle. Don't be a bench warmer. Join in publicity, in campaigns, in preaching the word of God. And God will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. I'd like you to take very few announcements, very few, because our time